Welcome to the 10th tutorial of this lightning series and this will sort of be the conclusion of the most important sort of basic tools that we have available to us and in this one we will uh, look at multi GPU setup. So let's do it as always. Let's copy that folder and let's do a new one multi GPU. All right, so then we can go to our train and uh, you know doing multi GPU training is actually really simple in lightning which is one of the pros um, the difficulty is actually setting up exactly how you want to do your multi GPU training because there are many different types of uh, strategies that you can use uh, the sort of state of the art right now at least is uh, the zero I guess it's an algorithm the zero algorithm uh, I haven't read the paper for it so I'm not uh, I don't know the details of how it works. We're just going to focus on kind of how to use it. Uh, but, um, you know, how we how we can use sort of the most basic thing, though, is a data distributed parallel. So we can do a uh, strategy uh, DDP. Now, what DDP is, is uh, it will copy the model to all of the GPUs that you set. And then it will run parallel just batches of data. So that will actually give us pretty um, sort of a linear scaling almost of uh, our training speed. Uh, but obviously, this is a limitation if we want to train models that are actually uh, larger than, you know, we have VRAM. Uh, also, we can set devices here. So they we use multiple. All right. So what do you do if you don't have access to, uh, you know, if you're training a model that's too large for data distributed parallel, then uh, you could uh, what I recommend is to use deep speed. So for that, you do pip install u deep speed. Uh, and there are other libraries as well. Uh, Fair scale is one that's quite popular. And I think there are even more, but I think deep speed is sort of the, the best one from my understanding. So if we import from strategies, import deep speed strategy. Uh, I guess we can go here and check, but uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of different ones. Horovod is one I've also heard of. Uh, there are, yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of different ones. So if you want to use that one, we need to set it first. So we do strategy equals deep speed strategy. And for this one, there's actually a bunch of arguments that you can send in here. Uh, and that will really, you know, you can optimize your multi GPU training a lot, I think, depending on how many GPUs you have, uh, maybe you're doing distributed training and so on. And uh, then you would use um, different parameters here. Uh, also, depending on what you want, you you want to use different stages for your zero algorithm. So there's sort of a zero stage one, two and three. And sort of the higher the level, the more it will try to offload to sort of the CPU or uh, stuff like that. So, um, or make parallel so it will actually split the memory of your model. Uh, that depends on the use case. Uh, they set to a standard, so we'll, we'll use that here. It's really not to go into the details of these parameters, just so that you know that there are a lot that you can dig into. Um, but if we just use it as default, we can do strategy here equals strategy. And uh, just for fun, I think we can do this. So we can change this back to a uh, single GPU and we can go to our model. And instead of doing uh, 50 here, uh, let's do, I don't know, a million. And I think I tried this before and it is out of memory, but uh, let's try it. All right, so as we can see here running this, we get uh, CUDA out of memory on 24 gigabytes. So uh, what we, uh, can do though is we can go back to to our config we can set so we're using multiple uh, devices uh, we are using zero stage two which is um, should split the memory to both GPUs and so we should uh, be able to run this all right so as we can see it is running and uh, if we go to watch Nvidia SMI we can see that it's using about 17 gigabytes on both uh, which is you know obviously less than 24 gigabytes so uh, as sort of a sanity check, right, this, this works. And I think there's a lot of optimizations you can do by tuning the hyperparameters of, of it and which stage you want to work, uh, use. 
Um, but uh, this is a sort of a basic intro to multi-GPU training with Lightning. Uh, I think the take home message here is that, as you can see, things are really easy to integrate. Uh, it's sort of many times just one, two lines of code and you can use it, right? I think uh, hopefully you can see that there are many advantages to using uh, a wrapper like this, especially when we are dealing with multi-GPU setups and we want to uh, you know, just make things as modular as we can. Um, I think in general, it's good to, to not use a wrapper, but uh, in uh, Lightning, I think there are many benefits. And uh, I think from now on, I'm gonna be using it sort of as a, as a default for my videos and as a default for the projects that I make. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Lightning after this series. I might do more advanced Lightning tutorials, so this is not an end to the series, but I think it's an end to the, uh, this, the sort of the uh, introductory uh, at least, and uh, I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think of this series, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for your support.